don't usually plan a lot of things like this, so I'm trying to see what I can do in the next hour or so. So I'm gonna give myself one hour and see what I can come up with. Definitely a change of pace from what I'm used to back in America. So I'm excited to take the morning and do some photos. Ever since the beginning of 2024, I feel like I've been in this creative rut and I've been trying to figure out which ways to kind of get out of it. And so I was trying to find different personal projects or other things to kind of spark that creativity back into my life. And my cousin actually is getting married at the end of the month. And so I want to take that opportunity to kind of revisit my roots because I was uh, not born in Mexico, but I was raised in Mexico. So I have quite a bit of um, history back in a small town in, in Mexico called Uridia. So he's getting married in my small town and he actually asked me to take a few photographs during the ceremony. So I think this will be a great opportunity for me to kind of rekindle that creative spark and kind of also uh, get back into my roots with my hometown. I want to keep things very simple for this trip. So I'm shooting all of my personal stuff on the Leica Q2. As you know, this is my favorite camera and a camera that kind of sparks joy into my project. So I really wanted to bring this in because it is my favorite camera and I've never taken it uh, back to my hometown in Mexico. So that's my primary stills camera. I'm also gonna be shooting with the Sony a7C II for the wedding ceremony, just because I want something that um, has a little bit better autofocus. And all of the video stuff, I'm kind of trying out this new thing. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I got this back in um, the middle of January or the beginning of January, and I haven't really tested it fully. So this is gonna be a great exercise for me to actually get out there and shoot with this camera without having to bring like tons and tons of gear. So that's basically the gear breakdown for this project. And so I'm excited to see what kind of things I'm gonna get. flight to my hometown so most of the day on the first day I didn't really take many photos I did start taking photos like in the late afternoon after dinner we had dinner at my late grandma's house and so I grew that's the house I actually grew up in so I wanted to go to the roof and take some pictures of the view I used to get when I was growing up here One of my uncles actually offered to take me to one of the lagoons to see the sunset, even though it was getting a little cloudy. So he took his moped down there and it's a really nice ride because everything here is like I said, it's a small town. So there's, there's cars, but a lot of people do like to ride around in moped. So I was able to get some footage as I was riding up there. We unfortunately didn't make it in time for the actual sunset, but I st was still able to get some nice photos. My uncle and the little chapel that they have there and just as the sun was setting. But that same philosophy that I've been doing to kind of get out of this creative rut and trying to do things that are kind of out of my comfort zone, like vlogging, like this is not something I ever do. But I figure that it's a good exercise for me to do, especially because I do want to document my process on making photos in my hometown. I've been here so many times and I grew up here, but since I became a photographer, I haven't really taken any photos here. So I want to get this as most authentically as I can because I just want to have this for myself anyway. So this is me just trying to get over the, the my stage fright in front of people. So yeah, like this is a really beautiful place to visit. Like there's like um, squares and there's gardens all over the place. People hang out here. People like to have their morning coffee out. My hometown is a very social place. so. 
having people out and about is very common here, but not so common where I'm from in America because everybody is, I come from the suburbs, so people are not usually out doing things unless they're going to work. So it was a nice change of pace and nice to photograph. One of the most common ways to get around my hometown is by walking around, but I would say that the other most common way to get around is by motorcycle or moped. So today I want to get some photos with um, motorcycles or mopeds in the frame so I can get some motion and just to get a perspective of what it's like to actually live here. So I'm going to walk around town for a little bit, maybe go to the market and see what's going on over there, but I'm having a lot of fun just kind of shooting around town. Okay, so right now we're in the middle of the Mercado here in Yuridia. This is like the entrance of it. There's a lot of color, so I want to shoot for color right now. So as you can see, it's a pretty busy area and there's a lot of tchotchkes and souvenirs. But the point is to just get people as they walk around and just to get some, not so much motion, but just the way that people interact with other people and when they go on about their day. One different thing about this trip is that I've been out for about an hour taking photos, which I normally don't get to do. I usually just take photos as a part of my day. So if I'm out doing errands or doing stuff with my son, it's just I take pictures in between when I can. And I don't usually take the time to just go out for the purpose of taking photos. So it's been refreshing to be able to concentrate for a little bit on just different compositions and just observing my surroundings and kind of staying in one place for a bit to see if anything changes or over the scene or the lighting changes. So it's been nice to be able to practice different techniques, um, even though it's getting a little bit later in the day and it's the light is not as nice, but it's been um, really fulfilling. It feels really weird being back in my hometown, especially after getting married and having a son. It just the place looks a lot smaller than I remember. When I was a kid, it just felt so big and sprawling and it's still like a quaint little town. You know, everybody still lives life a lot more simpler here. And I've been trying to capture that in the photos that I've been making during this trip. So I've been trying to diversify a little bit on the things I like to shoot and just capturing the town as it is and not what I want it to be. So just trying to observe people as they go about on their errands or walk around town. It's really important to me to kind of capture the essence of being here. So it's been really fun to get that done. I don't have a ton of time to shoot this morning because today is my cousin's wedding day and I am shooting some photos for him at the ceremony. So I'm only walking around for a little bit, see what I can get. In the meantime, the main focal point in my hometown is this giant church built in 1550. So a lot of people come from all over the place to visit this. It's like a tourist destination. So I've been trying to shoot it from different angles. So this, my town has different gardens that people like to hang around on the weekends, including this garden. I went to elementary school really nearby. So um, I grew up just walking around this area. So it's been nice to photograph places I've been to in the past and kind of see it with a different perspective now that I'm a photographer. So. I've been trying to just get all the kinds of angles of this church because it is like such a big iconic part of my town.
Right now it's the afternoon of my cousin's wedding. The ceremony went really well. He's more of a reserved person, so it was really nice for me to shoot the ceremony the way that's more authentic to who he is. So I stayed back a lot of the time and I still got really beautiful images. They got married in a really nice church outside of town. And right now it's the reception. I'm not really, they didn't ask me to take photos during the reception, but I still want to take a, a handful of them since I am a wedding photographer. So it's nice to go to a wedding where I'm not required to shoot any photos, but still, it's really fun for me to shoot photos anyway, and really, uh, really nice for me to be able to do what I love to do in this kind of setting with family I don't get to see all the time. On the last day in Mexico, I didn't really take that many pictures because it was kind of a hectic day and I was trying to just stay in the moment. In the afternoon, we did go to one of my uncle's houses just to have dinner. I do, did want to try to take some time to not take any photos, just to live in the moment. There's a lot of family I don't get to see all the time, so I felt like it was important to spend time with them without having to um, take any photos of the moment. But even then, I was still able to get a couple of the pictures of the sunset and just on the rooftop of my uncle's house. So it was a really nice way to wrap up the trip. Overall, I think this trip really helped me out and kind of re-sparked that creative spark that I've been kind of searching for the last couple months, just because I don't feel like every picture you have to, you take has to be like this monumental thing that's gonna go in your portfolio, but I do like to keep photography fun because before I started, uh, be before I became a photographer, it was a hobby. And so I wanted to keep that, kind of that sense of fun in my photography, especially for my YouTube channel, because this is for fun. So um, I had a lot of fun in this trip, t making all these photos and just getting to spend some time with family. Overall, I feel really proud of the photos I took during this trip. I don't really have a print store or anything like that, but I do have a darkroom profile set up. So if you're interested in any prints of these photos, um, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, again, this is not like a sales pitch, but if you like these photos and you wanna support the channel in some way, um, everything will be listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. It's a little different from most videos I post, and I wanna do more videos like this in the future. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It shows me that you're enjoying the stuff that I'm making. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time.